Welcome to a tutorial on how to set up and use Virtual PC by Word X8. Virtual PC is very useful because you can test certain things that you may think are viruses or other programs you don't want in your computer. And so you can do is you can set up a virtual PC or virtual machine and you can test it to make sure it's good and then you can install in your actual computer. What it basically does is it installs a separate computer on your computer. So you can basically open up a mini computer under your computer. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll just show you. First thing you need to do is open up your web browser and Google Virtual PC and click the second link. The link is also on the right hand side under the video information. So this video link will be right there. And scroll down a little bit and it says files in this download. And just select the one you have. So if you have 32 bit, download that. If you have 64 bit, download that. So my case, 32 bit. And then wait till it finishes downloaded. Downloads, downloading. After it's finished downloading, simply find the file wherever you download it to. In my case, desktop. Click it, double click it, and download it and install it. It's very simple to install. After you install it, then you need to go find it. In my case, start all programs, and it should be s installed under something like Microsoft Virtual PC. Find it and click it. And when you start it up, you're gonna need to to a new virtual machine wizard and basically what you do is create uh, the virtual machine that you need you have to have at least one to be able to use the uh, virtual machine just click use default settings and hit next I'll uh, use the default one doesn't really matter if you want to actually sometimes you may, some people need, may need to change it so I'll just virtual machine that already exists too so I'll just do virtual and then hit next um, uncheck that option, hit finish, and right here, this is a little virtual machine right here, and what you can do is you can hit start, and what you'll see to begin with is something called BIOS, which is the boot options and manager and all that stuff, and so you go through all this, and when you, to begin with, when you start virtual machine, you'll need to install an operating system, unless you're using a CD that is bootable, and what you'll need to do is, so for instance CD, I can do capture ISO, which you do, you click the CD option, and you can either use a CD drive to install the operating system or a capture ISO, in my case use an ISO. Basically what you need to do to begin with is use a bootable CD or operating system. And you should open up that CD, so I chose Ubuntu, and then you need to restart it, so you go to action, or actually, what do you do? Go to action, restart, yep, reset. And then, yes, you hit reset. You'll go through all that stuff again, and then I'll bump from Ubuntu. And then you'll need to install, it's very similar to just starting a computer from scratch, and then you can just test whatever you want. So as you can see, Ubuntu, and you can basically install it and do whatever you want to do. That's basically it. Once you install the operating system, no matter what it is, like Ubuntu or XP, then you can use it and you can test programs, see if they're viruses or whatever you want to do. And that's basically how you can use Virtual Machine. Once you close it, you have a save state or turn off. You can choose whatever you want. Save state basically will save everything you're doing right now. And when you open it up again, it'll be the exact same place. So as you can see, it looks the same screen. You might not be able to see the picture because YouTube compresses this stuff poorly. And that's basically the program. If you want the embed code to any of my videos, simply go to the right hand side. If it says embedding is disabled, click more. And at the bottom it says HTML embed code can be found at. Click that link. This will bring you to the same video at my River account. And on the right hand side it has the embed code and you can just copy that and put it wherever you want.